Let's take a look how to make some motion glow effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this model as a reference and this is my artboard size. And the first thing is I'm gonna need to fix the contrast. So I'm gonna go to image, do a quick auto tone, auto contrast and auto color. Now it looks way better. I'm also gonna try to increase the brightness. I'm gonna go to the layer, a right click, convert a smart object, and I'm gonna go to the image, adjustments, and select the curves, and I'm gonna modify it just a little bit. Click OK. I'm also gonna redeem this layer and press Control J to duplicate. Let's stay on this new layer and let's go to the filter, blur, and select motion blur. For the distance, I'm gonna go with this value in my situation. And you also can set up the angles. Just make sure it's a little bit more horizontal, it doesn't need to be perfect. Click OK. And I'm also gonna change up the blend mode to screen. So this is how it looks before and after. I'm also gonna press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt and scale it, double click, and you can reposition it however you like. I'm also gonna make a new copy of this layer, press Ctrl J and I'm gonna reposition it somewhere here. So now the rest of the motion blur of the model won't be visible on the white background. So we're gonna need to switch that. So let's go back on the layer and double click on the thumbnail of one of these layers. And it's going to open up the original image and we're gonna need to remove the background. I'm gonna go up to the taskbar and click on remove background. I'm also gonna go and select the quick selection tool, click on select and mask, and I'm gonna go to view, change it to overlay, and I'm gonna change up the color to black and fix it a little bit. I'm gonna increase the feathering, shift edges. I'm gonna click OK. Let's go to File, Save. And now I'm gonna go back to the original tab with the project. I'm also gonna add the background. Go here, select solid color. I'm gonna go with black, click OK, drag it on the bottom. So as you can see, the glow is too strong, so I'm gonna select the top layer, and I'm gonna go to the opacity and decrease it. Probably gonna go around 30, and I'm gonna create another duplicate, press Ctrl J, and this one, I'm probably gonna pull it in the right side. So it's gonna make this really cool ghost effect. Now beyond all these, you also can add more contrast if you want. You can go back to the adjustments. I'm gonna select the curves, and I'm gonna add a little bit more. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna push it to the extreme a little bit. And if you want to add or remove contrast, all you need to do is go here to the opacity and decrease it, increase it, and see what you like more. Now, but least, let's add some grain with a new method. And let's go and select a solid, make it black, click OK. Let's go to filter, noise, and select add noise. Convert a smart object. I'm gonna go with like 40. Click OK, and we're gonna change the blend mode to screen. Now how I see this is also gonna mess up with the contrast, so I'm gonna go back to the curves and maybe increase it more and see the difference. And that's how you can make this motion glow ghost effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.